In episode 3, we will be looking into the documents that I believe points towards a government cover-up that involves the crash of an airplane carrying top-secret cargo and a CIC agent on a top-secret mission. Unfortunately, the agent and a lieutenant lost their lives in the crash, so we will never get a first-hand account of what was actually being transported on this mission. We have parts of the declassified documents dealing with the incident so let's get into them now. U.S. Department of Justice Director, Urgent Flying Disc reported at Hackensack, New Jersey August 3, 1947, MISC, information received that, redacted, age 20, redacted, Hackensack and, redacted, foot, D-I-X, N-J. On late afternoon August 3 last sighted from ground an object described as a flying disc. Redacted, claimed it was 200 yards, in air, revolving slowly, moving rapidly, and neither a kite nor a balloon. Redacted, telephoned information to Hackensack PD, inquiry being made, Bureau will be kept advised. Federal Bureau of Investigations U.S. Department of Justice. Communication Section. Mr. Olivia, Mr. Ladd, Mr. Morgan, Mr. Michelle, Mr. Bowman, Mr. Tracy, Mr. Marbo, Mr. Moore. Mr. Carson, Mr. Prunington, Mr. Quiantam, Mr. Neese, Miss Gandhi. FBI Portland the 8th of May 47 8.50 p.m. HHS. Director and SAC Seattle and San Francisco Urgent Flying Discs, SM-X. Re-telephone call from Mr. Ladd. 1 p.m. today requesting teletype summary concerning newspaper reports of recent reported flying discs in Portland area, and a reported conferring of Army officials in Portland concerning flying discs. Redacted, the Oregonian advised that a Captain William L. Davidson and Lieutenant Frank M. Brown of 4th AAF Headquarters San Francisco were in Portland July 27 last and interviewed, redacted, an experienced pilot who had reported on June 14 last seeing a formation of 10 flying discs over Bakersfield, California. According to, redacted, they had also interviewed following for experienced pilots who were among first who reported seeing discs. Redacted paragraph. To ascertain the purpose of the interviews, redacted, contacted Major General Twining of Wright Field, Ohio by phone at Albuquerque, New Mexico. And from him gained the impression that the AAF instituted this investigation to wash out the disc reports, since they are definitely not of AAF origin. On Friday, August 1st, the plane in which AAF investigators Captain Davidson and L.T. Brown were riding, crashed at Kelso, Washington, and both were killed. The wreckage was screened by AAF intelligence from McCord Field. The Tacoma News Tribune, and through them the United Press put out a story that the plane was carrying parts of a disc which had struck a boat owned by Harold Dahl, and Fred Chrisman Tacoma, W.N. Redacted advised that today's issue of the Oregonian carries a up story stating that Dahl denies saying the metal fragments he furnished were from a disc, an analysis of the fragments shows them to be from a Tacoma slag mill. No AAF intelligence personnel available Portland. No recent substantive reports of flying discs in the Portland area. Seattle verify at McCord Field and San Francisco verify at AAF HDQRTS. SF, submitting teletype summaries to the Bureau. No further investigation Portland. Bobbit. 2. D.M. Lad. Subject, Flying Sources. Special Agent, Redacted, of the Liaison Section contacted Lieutenant Colonel, Redacted, Army Air Forces Intelligence inquiring about an article which appeared in the West Coast newspapers recently stating in substance that an airplane carrying recovered flying saucers crashed en route from Portland, Oregon, to Los Angeles, California. Redacted, advised, redacted, that the only information that has been received by headquarters of the Army Air Forces is that a CIC agent of the 4th Air Forces headquarters, Hamilton Field, San Francisco, was killed in an airplane crash. The headquarters of the Air Forces have been advised that he was on a top-secret mission. 
red-cated, indicated that he was under the impression that the CIC agent was either en route to or from an interview with, redacted, who is one of the individuals who first saw one of the flying saucers. Redacted, stated that the Air Force have no additional information and will receive none until the report is received from the 4th Air Forces. Redacted, suggested that the San Francisco Field Office contact Colonel, Redacted, Headquarters 4th Air Forces, Hamilton Field, San Francisco, who undoubtedly would be able to furnish the details regarding this matter which are at this time unknown by the headquarters of the Air Forces. Redacted, pointed out to, Redacted, however, that it was his belief that no flying sources have been recovered but that it was merely an attempt to re-interview an individual who previously had reported seeing one of the flying saucers.